the shortest distance from the curve x, y equals 8 to the origin is 4, 8, 16, 2 root 2, or 4 root 2. Um, so this is a pretty straightforward, straightforward statement of a problem. Uh, my first instinct is to treat this as a constrained minimization problem. Take an arbitrary point on this curve, call it x comma y. The distance of that thing to the origin, or well, at least the um, the square of the distance to the origin is x squared plus y squared. And then minimize that subject to the constraint that x, y equals 8. Or we could again write that distance out, make the substitution in the distance formula that y is equal to 8 over x, and then minimize that as a one-dimensional function. I, I don't know which of these uh, is the best. I'm going to use the one-dimensional version, actually, and just hope things work out kind of nicely. I will draw a picture, though. I'm only going to draw this for positive values of x and y. It's going to be symmetric, uh, symmetric, so you know this minimum distance will be achieved at two different points, um, but it'll just be a reflection through the origin. Not really drawing the function properly either, uh, but that's okay. We're just so if I have an arbitrary point x y on this thing, the distance squared is x squared plus y squared, but I also have that x. I'll 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 write this as y is equal to 8 over x. So the distance squared is x squared plus 64 over x squared. And I want to minimize. Minimizing the distance is the same as minimizing the square of the distance. So I don't have to take square roots here uh, until I actually evaluate what the distance is. I'm going to treat this as a function of x and minimize it. So I end up with a minimum distance of 4 uh, just by working through the computations. Um, taking the derivative was more or less straightforward. Hope I didn't make any silly mistakes there. We set it equal to 0 and solve for x. It actually ends up being more convenient to stop here and just solve for x squared because we have that the distance is written in terms of x squared, so I just substitute um, x squared is equal to 8 in both of these, and I end up with, you know, that's 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8, so d squared is 16, and d is equal to 4. Nice little problem. Um, there's probably other ways of doing this, but this just seemed like the first way that sprang to mind that was quite straightforward. If I have any more to say about it, I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.